Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you exactly how to use your FlashForge Adventure 5M printer. I'm going to take you through all the steps to make this uh, 3D printed Christmas ornament. The same steps are the same for any 3D model. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my filaments. I'm using this Duramic 3D PLA Plus, like a silver kind of metallic uh, PLA. So I'll just turn the machine around and I'll add the filament to the spool at the back and then I am going to cut the filament um, at about a 45 degree angle to make sure that it um, will nicely um, go into my extruder. I take that filament and I thread it through the white filament uh, protector all the way to the extruder so you should feel it basically stop. Then on the flash forge I press the spool button and press the load button takes a few minutes for the printer to warm up and the nozzle to get hot and you can see the filament extruding there and so some of my old filament color is there but now you can see the filament that's come through includes that silver. So now I'm going to take you over to printables.com. This is a website that I use to find 3D models to print. This is my favorite website for finding free 3D models for printing. I think they have some really nice options. So I'm just looking in the featured section here. You can see there's so many different things. You can get like useful things. You can get decorative items. So many good options on this website of things that you can 3D print. Um, you can check out and see the reviews and the likes on them to know which ones are good models. So I'll just scroll along here until I find something that I like. And of course, we're going to go with this Christmas decoration as it's almost Christmas around here when I'm filming this video. So I want to add another decoration. So you can see here some pictures of the models. You can look at the reviews. Um, you can also see the likes at the bottom there. So this one's been made by a lot of people and it's been well liked. So if I go to the file section there, then I can see all the different file options. There's different sizes for the balls. I'm gonna go for the smallest one with the full cross um, just as a tester. And so I will just click on the download button um, and that will download the .3MF file. And I'll send that over to my slicing software. So here I am in FlashPrint, which is the slicing software for the FlashForge Adventure 3M. Go to my 3D print files and find that file and upload the model. It does ask me to repair it. I find that usually happens when it's a .3MF file. I can look at it, I can press the little eye icon and look at it from the different views to make sure that it looks good and that it's sitting nicely on my build plate. And then I can press the start slicing button. To start off, just go with the regular settings. You don't need to tweak or adjust anything. Um, just go with the standard settings for the Adventure 5N printer. I am gonna do a raft. A raft is like a layer of filament underneath the model. Um, just because this one doesn't have a lot of filament touching the bottom because it's a sphere. And so you need that raft to give it extra support. Then I press slice and it starts slicing the model. And then you can either download it or just send it directly to your printer if your printer is connected via Wi-Fi. So that's what I'll do. So here it is, I've sent it to the printer. You can see that little raft on the bottom, um, that little bit of extra filament help keeps it stable. Um, and that's what it looks like once the printing was complete. If you notice a little bit of residue on my build plate, it's because I do use a glue stick to help me with adhesion. Um, you can see the raft there, so I just peel that off. Um, it peels off pretty nicely. And um, that allows me to, um, again, keep the adhesion nice for this model. So it turned out great. I'm super happy with uh, this little um, Christmas decoration. I could make like a hundred of these and decorate my tree. Could do them in all different colors. So many great ideas of things you can 3D print. So here's how it looks on my tree. It's looking great with a little bit of ribbon. So that's how you um, 3D print anything. Um, you pick your model, slice it and print it. Hope this helped.